Hello students, today's topic is formation of a company. We know that a company is an artificial legal person. So the formation of a company is a legal process which involves a series of steps and legal formalities. Persons who wish to form a company come together with an idea to carry on some business for the purpose of earning profits. There are three stages of formation of a company. Promotion of a company. Registration and incorporation of a company. And the third stage is commencement of business. Let us discuss the first stage. That is promotion of a company. Before a company is formed, certain persons plan about the starting of some business. This stage of promotion of a company begins when someone takes lead to form a company. The persons who think of forming a company and take necessary steps in its formation are known as promoters or company promoters. The term promoter was not defined in the earlier Companies Act 1956. But it has been defined in Section 2, Clause 69 of the Companies Act 2013. This section says that promoter means a person who has been named as such in a prospectus or is identified by the company in the annual return referred to in Section 92 or who has control over the affairs of the company directly or indirectly, whether as a shareholder, director or otherwise, or in accordance with whose advice, directions or instructions the board of directors of the company is accustomed to act. However, nothing in this clause shall apply to a person who is acting merely in a professional capacity. It means if a chartered accountant or a company secretary give advice to the company in its uh, professional capacity, they are not promoters. The idea of starting a business and forming a company comes in the mind of the promoter. So, he will investigate the idea and try to know whether the formation of the company is possible and profitable. He has to collect the required number of persons necessary for the formation of the company and find out the first directors. The required number to form a public company is 7 and a private company is 2. He has to settle the name of the company what name the new company is going to have. He has to settle the details of the memorandum of association and articles of association of the company and should take necessary steps to get these documents drafted, printed and arrange for their registration also. He has to prepare financial plan to arrange for the loan etc. Uh, if I give examples of promoters, I may say Dhirubhai Ambani is the promoter of Reliance Company. Mukesh Ambani is also uh, the promoter because uh, in the definition of the promoter, we have read that uh, who has uh, control over the affairs of the company is also a promoter. Now we come to the second stage. The second stage is registration and incorporation of a company. A company comes into existence when it is registered under the Companies Act 2013. If it is a public company, seven or more persons may form the company by getting it registered with the Registrar of Companies. In short, we may say it ROC. If it is a private company, two or more persons not exceeding 200 may form the company by getting it registered with the registrar and if it is a one person company then a single person may form it 
by getting it registered with the registrar the registration and incorporation of a company usually involves some important steps first application to the registrar for selecting and reserving name of the company so a promoter is required to select a proper and desirable name for his proposed company and get it reserved for this purpose he must make an application for reservation of a name in form number inc1 along with the prescribed fee to the registrar this application is to be filed with the registrar of the state in which registered office of the proposed company is to be situated after getting the approval of name of the proposed company the promoter shall file an application for incorporation of his company in form number inc2 in case of one person company and form number inc7 in case of other company he should file this application form along with some documents and informations the first document that is to be filed with the registrar is memorandum of association which describes the scope and power of the company this document must be signed by the required number of persons which are necessary for the formation of a company seven members in case of public company and two members in case of private company uh, the brief explanation of memorandum and articles of association will be given in my next video next important document that has to be filed with the registrar of companies is articles of association which contains the rules and regulations of the company it must also be signed by all the persons who sign the memorandum of association then a declaration in form number inc 8 affidavit from subscribers and persons named as first directors in form number inc 9 the address and the address for correspondence till the registered office of the company is established the complete particulars of subscribers and directors it means their name residential address nationality their identity proof and director identification number din should be given to the registrar the written consent of the persons who agree to act as first directors of the company should also be given to the registrar in a prescribed manner if the registrar is satisfied with these documents and information he will register the company and all the documents and write the name of the company in government record that means in the register of companies after the registration the registrar issue a certificate of incorporation in the prescribed form the certificate of incorporation contains the name of the company corporate identity number that means cin the date of its issue and the signature of the registrar with his seal the third stage is commencement of business a company public or private commences its business on obtaining certificate of incorporation from the registrar of companies no other formality is required to be followed by any company after its incorporation but if a company fails to commence its business within one year of its incorporation the registrar may take action for removing its name from the register of companies so this much for today in my next video i will give a brief description of memorandum of association and articles of association till then stay healthy stay safe goodbye